Hi, hope you're doing okay. Um, I wanted to show you how to pre-record a lesson, um, at least one or two ways of doing that, and I'll add more. Um, so one way is just to have a Google Meet with yourself and record it, and that's actually what I'm doing right now. Um, I opened a Google Meet session, and then there's a record button on this side. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that because I have that in another video. So I'm gonna share my screen right now. Share. Okay. Okay, if you open your regular email, here we go. You can open this little waffle button and click meet. And join or start a meeting. And your nickname or your name. I'm doing this quickly because I put this in a different video. Um, so join now. And then if you go to this little sidebar here, this more options, there'll be an option to record the meeting. Um, if you want to start recording, um, you can just open a Google Meet like that with yourself. Um, looks like it does right now and how this video looks. And you hit record meeting. Um, that's how I'm making this video. When you're done, you'll hit stop meet recording meeting, it's gonna be in the same place. And then the video just automatically saves to your Google Drive folder. If you want to share your screen during this recording, like I'm doing, that's here. If you hit present now, you can either share your entire screen or just one window. Like if you have PowerPoint open or if you have Inspire Science open and you just want that window and not all of your tabs, um, you have either option. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. Um, no, leave meeting, leave call, go. Okay, because there's another option that I wanna show you. Um, if you have a Mac or if you have QuickTime on your computer, uh, QuickTime could be on a PC as well. Um, so for me, I'm going to, to Launchpad. And somewhere in here, it might be under utilities, um, but, or you could just search your computer for programs and search for QuickTime. Um, but there's my QuickTime. Ignore my desktop, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> um, so once QuickTime is actually open, it's down here in the bottom. And then in the top here, um, you can click QuickTime. New screen recording or audio or video movie recording. I've used screen recording before. That's what I wanted to show you. So new screen recording. This little thing will pop up. You can adjust like the volume um, sensitivity here. Oh, I don't want to do that because it'll echo. Um, but once you've adjusted the way you want, then you can decide which microphone to use. It says internal microphone. Show mouse clicks in recording. That means, I don't know if it'll do it. No, not now. Um, but that means if you click on something on your screen, it'll have a little circle around it just to make it more obvious. And then when you're ready, um, you can hit that little record button and then either click to record the full screen or drag if you just want to record part of the screen, like just select the part you want. I'm just, I clicked in the background to record my entire screen, as embarrassing as it is right now. Um, so right now I'm recording my screen. In this top bar here, you can see that button with record. If you wanna stop recording the screen, you just click that button up there and it just stopped and opened this. This is a preview video. Um, so this is the video itself that it just took. It was 13 seconds long. Um, you can watch it to make sure that it's what you want. Um, it should have also recorded your voice. This is your screen and your voice, not your face. Doesn't have your webcam in this one. Um, and so you can watch it. I'm not going to right now, but you can watch it. Um, if you're happy with it, then up here in that same menu in QuickTime, you should have an option to save. That'll save it to like your desktop or somewhere so you can upload it later. Um, you can also export it. And then that option makes it, if you wanna make it a smaller video, like to save space, you can. Um, whenever I've done this, I've always just hit save. And then it saves it regular size and then you can upload it somewhere later um, so that's pretty much it i'm gonna go back to to where i was and i think i'm gonna end this video because that's 
that's pretty much it for that one. Um, either Google Meet or QuickTime, I think, are the easiest ways to uh, pre-record a lesson if your screen is involved and you want to talk over it. So thank you. I'll upload another one to use Google Slides and some other options. So have a good day.